Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, I am going to discuss about the gynecological history. The gynecological history is the same. Uh, uh, the steps are the same as in obstetric history, as we discussed in the previous videos, except some other points that should be added in the biodata, which is the age of menarche, menarche and also uh, the uh, the age of menarche and uh, the use of uh, whether they have done part smear test or not and uh, you also ask about the uh, contraception the method they use and when they started using contraception and also any side effect they experienced from using of contraception in the gynecological uh, history when a patient present to you with complaint of abnormal menstrual loss so what points are important that you have to ask in the uh, patient with complaint of abnormal menstrual loss first of all you ask about her menstrual cycle her previous one and present one in the previous uh, period was it regular or irregular and also uh, you uh, asked about the duration of menses for how many days they are bleeding and also you ask about the cycle length how many days uh, later the period is being started for example after 28 days after uh, uh, 29 days or after 30 days and also you ask about the uh, uh, soft pad per day how many uh, Pads they are using per day, and uh, also uh, the uh, about bleeding. You ask about bleeding uh, whether it is mild, moderate, or severe, and you also ask about any uh, complaining of dysmenorrhea, uh, dyspareunia, or intermenstrual bleeding. And uh, if the uh, patient come to you with uh, uh, Presenting complaint of vaginal discharge, you ask about the color, amount, uh, presence of blood, consistency, order, relation to period, whether it is uh, uh, happening after uh, period or at the middle of the period or uh, before starting of the period, and any associated itching or irritation. If she come with the complaint of pelvic pain, you ask about the site, onset, intensity, uh, red, uh, radiation, uh, character, aggravating factor, relieving factor and any associated uh, symptom with the pelvic pain. And you also ask about the history of back pain, uh, loss of appetite, pelvic pain, radiation and weight loss to exclude the ovarian cancer. So in history of presenting illness, you should ask all these points with uh, when they come with this specific uh, presenting complaint and the other uh, uh, steps are mainly the same as in obstetric history for example in uh, 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 obs history you uh, ask the detail of uh, his uh, children their mode of delivery date of delivery uh, place of delivery, their status, vaccination status, any complication they had during the delivery and uh, in the uh, past history you ask uh, any, about any medical illness which uh, brought them to the hospital and you also ask about history of uh, uh, previous surgery and also in the family history you ask uh, for any child abnormality any history of diabetes, hypertension, asthma, TB, hepatitis C and hepatitis B. You also ask about the drug history, whether they had uh, uh, previously allergy to any drugs. And in socio-economic history, you ask whether they live in a joint family or separate family. And uh, in the lastly, in the uh, personal history, you ask about the appetite, about uh, wet and also history of smoking, alcohol intake and uh, also about uh, the uh, uh, type of uh, contraception they are using. 
so this was all about the uh, history taking of both gynecological and obstetric if you had any inquiry you can ask me in the comment section thanks for watching